Today I'm going to show you the hands down fastest way you can stock up on all raw materials in Elite Dangerous. Today's video is sponsored by Secret Lab. We all strive for the best possible gaming experience, but the importance of a good quality chair is often underestimated. Secret Lab produces some of the most comfortable and high quality gaming chairs you can get. So upgrade your commander chair today and fly in style and comfort. Follow the link in the video description to their store, type in your height, your weight, and it will tell you which chairs fit you for the best possible seating experience. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous without with the strategy. So, Today we're going to do a material gathering guide and we're going to look at raw materials. More specifically, we're going to look at the crystal shards. Now, some of you may know this has been well known for quite a while. This is nothing new and it's been on my to-do list for quite a while, but I for some reason never got around to actually making the video, which is why we're doing it today. Now, the crystal shards are a special type of surface location that you can go through that will give you a lot of high-end materials of a specific type. So one site will give you one type of materials. There has been plenty of these sites discovered. Many of them are out here. As you can see, I have bookmarked the ones that are close to the bubble. And they're all between 1,500 out to maybe 2,000 light years away from the bubble. So it will take you a good half hour, I think, to fly out here, depending on your ship. It can seem a little overwhelming with this, but I've been looking into it, and you actually only need to look at two of these systems are the only ones that are really relevant. Before you head out, you should do a few things, though. First of all, in terms of equipment, of course, a long-range ship is good. A fuel scoop is obviously needed if you want to make that kind of distance. You will need a detailed surface scanner and an SRV, so nothing too fancy. The second thing you should do before you head out is to go buy one of the raw material traders. Here, you should downgrade all your high-end, maybe not selenium, keep that for now, but all the other class 4 materials, downgrade those to the lower one in the same category. This should give you plenty of room so we can completely fill up and you can carry home as much material as possible. Once that is done, you should head out to HIP36601. I'm going to list in the description the list of which system you need to go to, depending on what material you are looking for. But for this guide, we're just going to assume you're going to stock up on everything so you're filling up all your, um, all your storage. Now, this system is good because you can actually get four of the materials from this system. You can get selenium, but it's a little slower. But this is probably going to be the system if you're looking for polonium, ruthenium, tellurium, or technetium. If you're looking for yttrium or atinomy, you want to be heading to the system shown right here. It's only around 400 light years from the hip system, so it's not too bad. And this system, you can find ruthenium, yttrium, and atinomy. Once in system, you will be heading to the planetary body, also listed in the description, and you will notice that all of them are quite far away from the main star, often 100,000 light years plus. So there will be a little bit of travel time here, so keep that in mind. In my case right now, the next one on my list is ruthenium, so I will be heading to planet C1D, which you can see I have marked here. Once you arrive at your planet of interest, you're going to just map it with your detailed surface scanner. Once fully mapped, you will see that this planet has multiple geological sites, but also biological signals. The crystal shards that we are going to are, for some reason, not geological, but biological. So head to, well, any of the biological sites. Once you're at the site, you will see a ton of these crystal spikes poking out of the ground. And on these spikes, you will find smaller spikes that can be shot, and out of it will come well, as you guessed, the desired materials. You should only go for the crystalline clusters. These are the only one that will give you the material you're looking for. Ignore everything else. But as you can see, this is just what I have in range of my scanners right now. There's a lot, and in most cases, one site will be more than enough to completely fill out your cargo hold. But in the off chance that it isn't, there are plenty of other sites on the planet. You should move to the next one and keep going. Filling up the cargo hold takes around 20 minutes per site, so keep that in mind that uh, it's going to take some time if you want to go through all the different materials that are available. If you're looking for selenium, unfortunately there are none of these crystal sites available for selenium, so therefore you would have to go to a normal geological site and pick up the needle crystals from there, or just do it via normal surface prospecting. This is quite a bit slower. But I have listed a selenium site out here, so if you're out here anyway stacking up materials, you can go and you can pick some up there. But just know that it's not going to be any faster picking it up out here than it would picking it up from any other geological site back in the bubble. 
Once you've collected all the materials you need, you can do one of two things. Either you fly back or you self-destruct your ship and you'll be sent back for free. One final thing, I wouldn't do this if you're only looking for one material. Do this uh, if you're looking for many different materials and you want to stock up on all of them at once. So you could spend a few days out here restocking all your materials so you have everything you need. If you're just looking for a single material, you'll probably be better off just going to either of the crashed anacondas or just straight out surface prospecting it off a planet. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, remember to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.